right, you guys, it is March 17th. Happy St. Patty's Day, everybody. 2023, we are heading up Highway 330 to the 18, which was just reopened so we can see what it's like coming back, getting to come up to Big Bear finally because the roads are open. How's it going? If you guys like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe. We also just picked up my other Subaru, which has been out of commission for six months because I crashed it. This is my Subaru Crosstrek. There's the wife and myself, our married pictures. Oh, she's so beautiful. But yeah, look at completely different screen and everything. This is the 2019. This was me being frustrated. <laughs> Need to get that replaced. But yeah, so let's start heading up the mountain, folks. Folks, folks, folks. Hopefully you all are having a beautiful day. I know that's really, really loud, you guys. So as soon as I don't have to really hit the gas much, it'll it'll calm down. But yeah, that's really annoying, I know. I also have a train horn on this car, which is awesome. And this car is lifted. I probably wouldn't have gotten stuck if I had this car. Because I high-centered the vehicle. Once again, I apologize about the loud sound. Really wish I didn't have to buy that new car. I mean, I, I love it, don't get me wrong, but the stress of that car payment each month is just, it's just, it's, it's not worth it. It's not worth it, but then again, I remind myself, you only live once, and where there is a will, there is a way. Yeah. So yeah, my wife just dropped me off. We just came down the three, uh, the 38. I did a video coming down, so you guys can see what it looks like coming down and then going up. The two main routes up the front to head to Big Bear. I'm not gonna honk the train horn because the air compressor's in the car, so it's really loud refilling the air compressor as much as I wanna show you guys the train horn. some snow come in we got guys this could be a, a this could be our second biggest snowstorm of the season if everything works out so hopefully it does about it but going from that other really nice car with everything uh, stock it sounds way better because you can't hear it this car they had to remove the muffler to put the train horn in so it's not like I have an exhaust system I just don't have the whole muffler set up them tow the car down there I had um, let's see what did I have uh, I had a full tank full tank of gas and when I just left down here it was it, it was totally empty So everybody 
everybody, this is this is the main route that majority of you will take to come up to Big Bear. You start off high, on Highway 330, it's just off of the 210 freeway, and you take this until you get to the top, and it turns into Highway 18. So we're going to be recording all the way to the Big Bear Dam, and then we'll be good. like it's been forever since I've come up this way because of the closure. Well, the car feels good. It was so mangled in the front, but it feels good. It's aligned and everything. So that makes me happy. outside right now it's probably gonna be in the probably in the low 40s at the, at the highest when we, when we get up to Big Bear non-operation status because my insurance because of this accident even though it was my first accident in my whole life my insurance doubled and it was already high high to begin with probably because I'm, I'm I'm not good at researching like different companies or or whatnot to find the best deals I just went with who I heard is good and one of the only companies that didn't offer accident forgiveness but I didn't even consider it because I never expected to be in an accident but that's why you should always have a fire extinguisher just in case of a fire or self-defense at home in case someone tries to break into your house you'll, you'll never expect to, to have to use it but it's good to have it if you need it
nice views over there. So beautiful this drive. halfway up to the Running Springs area. Pretty close to the, the halfway point. Oh, sweet. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Give them a nice honk, say thanks. My horn, my horn didn't sound too great. Let me. I guess that's fine. Coming up on some really nice views, looking down the mountain. Hope, hope you can see it. There'll be a couple more spots. Yeah, that was really, really nice of them. That's what you gotta do. Let the faster traffic go by. about driving up here is I was always looking out for the snow and then it would just get more and more and more and more it was so cool as a kid man it was so great over there with all the snow on them. Traffic's not too bad at all. Man, I'm, I'm really hoping that showing you guys this route will, 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 will just allow you guys to see that you really don't, don't have much to be scared of. I am interested to see what Running Springs looks like though, because of all the snow. 
They got hammered way worse than we did. this next storm I'm still going to drive my other car because it has snow tires on it. I don't want to switch this these tires out because it, there's only a, a month left that I would need it for maybe. I think the all-wheel drive aspect will be just fine for me. much snow as I anticipated because you got to remember it is lower elevation it does get much warmer in this area but it's, it's looking beautiful this is already more snow than I usually see up here it's really pretty to Highway 18. As I said, Highway 330 turns into Highway 18 right here. Big Bear. Hang tight, guys. All right, guys. My bad. My bu 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 bad. My bu bu bad. My bad. My bu bad. Bu bu oh, I'm liking the little overcast situation we got going on. That sun is beating down in the car pretty, pretty hot.
of snow over here. I mean, in big patches, but I can tell they got hit, hit really well. It's 50 degrees up here right now in this area, so you can see why the snow melted so quickly. so good nice smooth drive you guys not much to be concerned about concerned about here with these wet roads from uh, the melting snow is when you're driving up if you happen to get into the temperatures where it gets below freezing you've got to be careful you've got to be careful because all this water is going to turn to ice when the temperatures get down to freezing that we just passed on the left you, you can't see the actual formation of what people refer to it as unless you're coming down but it, it, it's a it's a it's a very bad name so I, I can't really say it unfortunately not on not on the video can't really do it on the video Almost a Snow Valley ski resort, folks. And from Snow Valley to the Big Bear Dam, that's what was closed. 
for the longest time. Here's a place to go sledding, y'all. I believe you have to pay, but yeah, it's a good little time there too. Snow Drift Snow Tubing Park, that's what it's called, Snow Drift. Right before you get up here to the first ski resort. these gates closed from right here all the way to the Big Bear Dam. So I'm definitely interested to see how things are looking. Wow, these, these snow berms are freaking so high. I can't imagine how much snow. Oh man, I would have loved to have seen this area right after the storm. Once again, if, if, if you want to help me out, if you hit like and subscribe and share, it really does help a lot. It really does help a lot. I would really appreciate it. But no matter what, you guys, I love what I do. This is my like side, side type of a thing. It's just a passion. It's a hobby. It's something I, I really enjoy doing. It makes me feel good. And to be able to help help you guys out man it's, it's it's a pretty darn good feeling but those of you who've been watching it's it's been a pretty smooth ride correct we haven't come up on really any issues have we so for those of you really nervous about coming up here, I don't want you, I don't want you to be afraid. Come up here, enjoy yourselves, come play in the snow. I know the little ones would love it, absolutely love it. But look how high these snow piles are, it's awesome. Temperature is 45 degrees now. It's probably what it's gonna be in Big Bear as well. Pull over at one more little spot. It's called the, the Lake View Point, and you can actually see Big Bear Lake from here. It's all the way across this huge, huge valley right here. So let me roll down the window and see if I can get a little. Oh man, yeah, let me pull up a little bit more. Oh, this is horrible. Okay, through the tree right there. Let me zoom in. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's Big Bear Lake all the way across that huge valley. I know that wasn't the best view, but I tried my best never to stop loving you. Feeling so blue, oh, you make my life so miserable. I think it's if I love coming into my life. Here's a couple 
rocks in the road. Ended my my Saturn. Look at this big one. Yeah, you, you got to be really paying attention. The last thing I want for you guys is, is something like that to happen. So this is referred to as the Little Arctic Circle. Once we got up to this little top area here where I pointed out the lake viewpoint, um, that is where the Little Arctic Circle begins and it ends at the Big Bear Dam. But it's essentially this whole area. And from down in the Redlands area, you can actually see the Little Arctic Circle through a little cut in the mountains. It's pretty neat. Yeah, they've got some, some good sized rocks all over the place here. This is Rock Fall Central. Well, I'm not trying to scare anybody, but you know, some cars have been crushed. So I always hold my breath driving through here. It's like saying, like, please don't let it fall on my car, please don't let it fall on my car, please don't let it fall on my car. And at one point you do get a passing lane up here. Which is what we're on right now, but we have no one to pass. Awesome, beautiful views though. side right right in that lane there's another good sized rock right here that'll screw up your tires pretty good Temperature is 43 degrees. Usually I'd be passing these guys, but we're not in a hurry, right? hazards just to say thank you
wish these piles of snow weren't so high on the right because the view right here over at Snow Valley is just incredible. guys we're at the big bear dam we made it we made it we made it hope you guys had a, had a good drive hope you enjoyed it and uh yeah once again please like and subscribe help me out i'd appreciate it and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day we'll talk to you soon march 17th 2023 peace out you guys